How do I tell the two-year boyfriend that I still look out for the ex-husband that I've known since I was Time 18 out. years old? So we're great co-parenters. Uh -huh, and we have uh -huh, a good uh -huh, relationship, uh -huh. friendship. All right, all right, we got you, we got you. If I was a person that you were entertaining, I would run fast as hell from you. What? You don't have no boundaries. I'm great. I am 100% effective at co-parenting, but I have boundaries. There are certain conversations that we are not going to have. If it's not related to the child and anything that is related to the child, you should absolutely not have those conversations. The marriage did not work. Now, I'm not saying I know sometimes people jump out of marriages and say, hey, we still can be friends. But the truth is there's still an emotional connection somewhere that you have. So the next person that you're dealing with is going to see that obviously there's still a connection. You can still love a person and put a line straight between y'all and say, I can't do this anymore. I cannot constantly entertain you. I can't answer whenever you need me. On top of that, baby girl, you're an enabler. You mean to tell me that this man can come to you and say, hey, I can't do this and you're footed? No, that's his responsibility. You can't take over another person's responsibility. Just truthfully, if you are still doing that, you are not ready to talk to anybody right now hey, you until you have healthy boundaries with you know. yourself. I think the funniest thing about men is that when you leave them alone, they always think it's because you found another man. When really, it's because I got tired of you, honey. Oh, man, it's rare that that happens. Mostly uh, women don't want to be alone by themselves so if she's um she jumps out of one relationship she's going in another relationship or not really a relationship worth thing because there are always other guys that they are talking to so there are always guys that are lined up and to the next one you know what i'm saying so i got sick of you i don't like you i got fed up with you I'm done with you. What a lot of you men don't realize is we don't leave you for another man. We leave you for ourselves. We are a better choice for us than you. And I'm not really surprised that you even if you say that, but we all know that you don't live to be single where you say, no, I just want to be by myself. It's either you are going back to the streets or there's another guy. Two things. So if you decide to say, oh, you're living for yourself, yes, you're back in the streets, baby. We know. Y'all don't understand that. You don't understand it because when y'all leave a woman, it's for another woman. You don't leave a woman to work on yourself and go to therapy or go to the gym or whatever the f do to heal. No, it's always another woman. It's always another woman in your inbox. Always another woman. On the sidelines, always another woman that you are putting on layaway. And so you think that we are doing the same thing. No. Y'all are insufferable, exhausting to deal with. Why the f*** are you to deal with another one of you? Guess what? Here is what maybe she doesn't get is that uh, for men mostly, the most thing that men want from women is sex. So... Men don't leave women to be in another relationship, mostly. So if it's sex that he wants, you get it from another woman without leaving the other. So if he leaves you because you're a terrible person and you're a bad choice for him, he wants what's better for him. It's cool for you to want a woman that's submissive and softer. What's the other word you use? Docile. That's cool. But don't villainize me because I'm not the woman you want. Yeah. Because I'm not villainizing you because you're not the man that I want. You're not the type of lead the man that I would want to lead me. Don't villainize me for not being the type of woman that don't want to follow you. Trip. I'm not going to disagree. I would actually double down and say that's the problem at large. Um, because it becomes hard for us to have this conversation because there is a whole group of women that villainize men for being broke, that yeah. villainize men for not leading properly, that villainize men for not showing up in the way that they feel, just like it's a group of men who villainize women for, for having a child out of wedlock, for for, for f***ing too many, for not f***ing enough, for, for doing whatever they do, you feel me? When people attempt to have a sincere conversation, but the loudest voices are the ones doing the most damage, it becomes hard. And frankly, that is how this goes. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the difference between dating in Brazil versus dating in the United States. Overall, uh, in the United States, I feel like there's a little bit of a culture of uh, women expect to be like, uh, uh, you know, uh, chaste, and uh, uh, it's really up to the guy to just, you know, constantly go after right. it. But the thing is, 
I feel like uh, there's a lot of women here. When you meet an attractive woman in in the U.S., um, she she kind of acts like uh, kind of acts like you know, and she might even like you. She might even like you, but she doesn't want to let you, let you know that she likes you because she either thinks that uh, uh, that gives up some type of leverage or power or something like that. Uh, basically, what I'm getting at is we play we play games here. And I don't really like that. Um, <laughs> you will meet more people and women in Brazil that are uh, way more humble. Okay. The humility factor was a totally different thing. Our society in general, uh, there's a huge entitlement. Like we're all entitled to so much stuff. And I think uh, it's definitely rampant in uh, women. And so it's, it's, a, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, big, it's a big difference there versus here uh you don't get that princess uh mindset in brazil and differences right there another thing is that uh i don't know on the on on the dates i went on i didn't see uh i noticed girls don't take out their phones at all they're just they, they give you their attention uh oh so at dinner we, we there was a pause right for a second and i'm like what's up and she looks at me and she's like you're so beautiful and i was like Okay, that's different. And then uh, afterwards, we were walking around, and then uh, she, we see a bench. She's like, sit down for a sec. I was like, all right. She was like, here, turn around. I'll, let me massage your back a little bit. I was like, what the fuck is this? Dude, this is crazy. Like, they, um, women outnumber the men there, so I think they are looking too. They are constantly looking for, is this a guy that... Um, I could have a family with and they genuinely think that, that way. I don't think women here are always thinking in that way. I just don't get that vibe. I think in the United States, a lot of times they're looking for like, what does he do for my image? What is he, uh, what kind of fun can I have with him or what, what it's, it's, I don't get that just pure, sincere, genuine, uh, type mindset. Whereas like, like I said, in Brazil, I, I do get that. I get, uh, I see women that uh, take care of their family. Uh, they do it like it's just, that's just what you do. And uh, I think they view men differently there. I think men are much more important to them there. And I think that is why they work for their man there. They, they put in effort. They compliment you. They let you know. They don't play games. And, uh, yeah, those, those are some main differences. So, guys, go down there. Like Passport bros. Guys, let me know in the comment section your experiences uh, on dating wherever you are. So your location and how uh, the experience is like dating out there. And uh, you, you never know. You can help somebody in the comment section. Thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel.